women in STEM are so important and it might not be the highest number of women in STEM right now, but the community is wonderful. I think the trades in general can be so amazing if younger women just learned about them and gave it a try. Like, you don't need a guy to do it. You can do it yourself. I'm in the automotive technology program and I chose it because I've always worked on cars with my dad growing up and he told me that there is no limit to what a female can do. Honestly, I'm one of the girliest girls ever, but I'm able to do a pre-trip. I'm backing with a 53-foot trailer attached to my truck and they'll get you where you need to be. So you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm very inquisitive. If something breaks, I want to fix it. If something changes, I want to know why. I have that, that mentality of how does it work? How does it function? How does, how does anything get accomplished? Everyone was really supportive. I did like their teaching style. It was more like hands-on and I felt like, like that was how I learned. When I'm out there, I'm more judged by the weld that I lay down, not my gender or my skin color, just, just the work that I put out there. I think sometimes it really just comes down to being confident and knowing what you want to do in your future. You know, when people think of welding, it's like a real manly man's job, but there's absolutely so much room for women. There's room at the table for you, but you have to have the initiative. Be open to try new things. You're rounding the flow sensor through this gauge so that we can see the gauge process variable output. I think I've always just really enjoyed engineering in all aspects. So I was always the person taking apart stuff when I was young and trying to figure out how they worked. And so I knew I wanted to be an engineer. So going through this program, they taught us from the very beginning, the basic components, the wires, all that stuff. They taught us how to build the circuits, how to make sure the circuits are running right, it's really interesting with all the math and stuff that's behind it. I just always found cars interesting because I like didn't really understand them, kind of. So, I don't know, and then like so many people were like, oh, like you can't do it, you know? And I was like, that kind of made me want to prove people wrong. I'm currently in the machine tool technology program. What I enjoy most about this field is the learning experience, how they make it more accessible to everyone. It's just not a, a feel for just guys. Women are welcome also. I was so nervous to light a torch and the guys in the class are like, yeah, yeah, you know, you do this. And I, I was nervous because I'm like, all right, it's fire and it's hot and like, what if I burn the pipe? And then you get comfortable and like now I can braise pipes and do electrical circuits and I know what voltage is and the refrigeration cycle and I can install an entire AC system by myself. If there's any um, ladies um, wanting to start trucking and you've been kind of scared or thinking it's not for you, it's for you. If I can do it, you can do it. The instructors, they're great. They will teach you. Like I've never driven a truck before, now I'm prepared and I'm ready to succeed, ready to start. The best part about Trident has been speaking with all the professors, they all really know what they're doing and they're able to explain something three separate ways to try to make it make sense better. My instructors are very smart people. They own their own shops. They can teach you anything you want to know. If you ask questions, they will tell you the answer to it. They will help you find the answer to it. I would recommend the trades programs for any women. I think that it is something that we need to push for and encourage. When people think about welding, I guess they think about the muscle work that goes into it. What I've learned and um, what, what I've kind of just seen in practice, what makes a good welder is everything behind um, the welding. So it's a lot more brain work than brawn. I would encourage anybody who's thinking about doing welding to just go for it. It's really fun. You're always doing something different every day. And it's not something that's going to go away anytime soon. So you're always going to have that security if that's what you're going for. They pay really well. You're always going to have that freedom to go anywhere and still have a welding job because it's really everywhere. You don't think about it, but you're always going to need welders. So with automotive technology, you can take it and you can work on airplanes, you can work on boat motors, you can do trailers, you can work with a whole bunch of things that have wheels or motors. If they go, you can work on it. Just like be passionate, I guess don't like, don't, don't do it just to do it. 
you know, like do it with a purpose. I would recommend this to anybody that wants to do it. If you enjoy cars, why not try it? Once I get my degree, I plan to work in the aerospace industry on any mechanical system. That would just be really cool. I've always been a very big space nerd. My ultimate goal is I want to be a woman-owned and ran business. I want to be able to be that person that you call and you know someone's going to show up and they're going to do a good job. My long-term goal is to essentially buy a truck. My husband is an owner-operator. He owns a truck and so I'll add on to his company and our goal is to probably have three or four trucks. School gave me that confidence. This being in the trades gave me the confidence to know that I can walk in and I can take charge and I can do it. And you know what? My daughter sees it every day. So yeah, I want to show her and the rest of the world that there's a place for us. There's a place for everybody. There's a place for you. There's a place for you here. There's a place for you here. There's a place for you in STEM.